I think it's playing in my earphones now. I'm more of I. The thing that I love so much is that um, I went out out of my way to go and find a 10 foot cord so I could connect it from my home base. Yep. Bring it over here so you could have earphones to just you finding out 10 minutes ago. Like, you know what, John? To me going, can I not Fuck wear off. these? <laughs> like, <laughs> Fuck off like, with these earphones. What if I don't wear <laughs> It's totally cool. It's fine. I don't, it doesn't bother me at all. So guys, how are you doing? Um, this is a new week of the podcast. It is episode 116. Hey, um, welcome to the Beer and Friendship Show, guys. Welcome, welcome. Uh, so. How you been? I'm doing good. How have you been? Been great. Great. Feel like an old man. I know, because you're so injured. Yeah. So. Uh, if you Sad didn't know, story. if you haven't checked out last week, the last episode, um, it was Scott better hurt himself. then than it is now, and that was day of. I know. Ooh, got Sorry, the guys. camera going. Excellent. But yeah, I feel like an old man. I uh, slipped on some ice, didn't think anything about it. Here I am, a week and a half later, still got a sore leg. I'm an old man. I don't want to accept it. Well, so I'll continue to drink my beers. It could be way worser. That's what I always say. Um, one time when I was at the gas station, there's this guy who pulled up in this big uh, Harley Davidson pickup truck, Ford pickup truck, probably like a ooh nice 2400, 2500, whatever the fuck it is. Um, and uh, we made eye contact because I was getting gas in my car. And he said, how are you? I'm like, I'm good. And I'm like, how are you? He's like, two tears in the bucket. Fuck it. You know, I'm like. Fuck it. <laughs> I, I have no clue what that meant, but what I'm going to take up from it is, you know, two tears in the bucket. Fuck it to your leg. Oh, man. Did, did I tell you there was this guy at work that fell? Really? Yeah. I was taking out his catering order. He opened the door for me, and first his foot slid, and like his ankle went like that. Like It looked like he snapped his ankle, but he played it off real cool like it didn't hurt. So I was like, okay, okay. apparently this dude's got an bionic ankle or something right and then i was like yeah I, I like to be real cautious on the ice i mean this is with my fall fresh on my mind like i don't want to fucking eat shit again and he's like oh no i'm good i'm good as he's saying how good he is he falls oh no dude's wearing glasses but i mean he just like like one of those like <gasps> boop, 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 boop. oh like so you like i knew it was coming but i had this box of food in my hand so he falls but his glasses come off okay catch the glasses on top of the catering order Stand there like a chill guy. Just like, okay, you're up now again. Here's your glasses. I'm going to put your food in your car and never talk to you again. <laughs> not going to bring this up to you ever again. Bye. Yeah. It's like, goodbye. Goodbye. He's like, be careful. Be careful. He fell. Oh, man. But yeah, I've been uh, tired of Missouri snow. Tired I know. Dude, ice, we had another fucking snow. snowstorm, but it was like not even, it was almost pointless because. We got snowstorms down south having tornadoes. Just like, weird things fucking, going on. You know why? California's that, flooding. Dude, like California has been it's been Good. raining a shit ton there. Yeah. Like There's weird things everywhere. Climate change. I don't think it's global I mean, it might be the same thing. Climate change, same. global but things are funky. Things are things are brewing up differently around here and around there too. It's kind of weird. Indeed. Indeed. Well let's carry on. What do we got for this show? I so uh, um I, mean, I have this, this new little segment that I'm wanting to test out. This is like the very first like I guess it's like a pre roll test. Jar- Eatos. Exactly. <laughs> jar eatos. Jar. It's supposed to mean hard eatos, and it means like Haritos. small jars. That's what it means. And but anyway, it's a very it's a it's almost it's a drink delicacy in the Latin speaking countries, mostly in Mexico. But uh <laughs> what I want to do is I, I I'm sure you've never had pop. it before. I'm sure you've never had oh, one I've of these. Had it before. Have you had one of these before? Oh yeah. Well, I wanted I didn't know if you had it, so I got one for you so we could try it on the podcast. I might not have had it before. I was just talking. So it's just orange soda pop, though, right? Pretty much. What do you think of it? Well, that's tasty. You like that? I mean, I like orange soda, so yeah. You can taste the real sugar, though. It's got a different taste than my yep. corn syrup I'm used to. Mm-hmm. I do like my corn syrup. But no, that's a that's a tasty little drink right there. Yeah, it's not a, What's it's not a good old Americano. Oh, everything's in English? I thought it'd be in Spanish. Kind of a letdown. Ooh. 24 grams of sugar. Per 
Eight ounces. ounces. So and it's a sixteen ounce that. thing. Yeah, it's a sixteen ounce glass. So I'm looking at a good almost fifty grams of sugar. Yes, you are. And the same amount of carbs. And if I've learned one thing, carbs are not good unless I'm active and I use them. Yes. Which I'm not. That's the reason why we always recommend after you get done watching the podcast, or even if you want to do it while you're listening to the podcast, run healthy do Arm stuff trip. jerking off even counts so those counts as Make points sure to switch arms don't want to get the yes the, was it quagmire Figured oh out yeah you'll get it like yeah you just get oversized <laughs> in on one arm yeah and you want to do two arms sometimes that's the reason why i always do two hands when i jerk off so for that exact reason so i'm getting equal jerk off motion with both and wrists and there goes the viewers yep and there they go <laughs> and that was in with them f- Less than five and minutes of talking gone. about my penis. Like, it did not take that long this week to talk about my penis. Uh, normally, we usually wait till, like, Craigslist, that segment, to start talking about wieners and stuff. Put some alcohol in there. That's pretty good. But, uh, so I have I, I have a lot of weird random stuff I want to show you. I know I've probably already shown you this before, but this video is awesome. I absolutely love this video. <laughs> Let's Stain. see. I count... One, two. Oh, he's got at least like five on the bottom. Look at those scraggly ass things. <laughs> Look at those things. What does he eat? Oh man. What happens when he sees a steak? <laughs> he's like, oh that. Lo- oh, mm, can't have that. Had the pudding. Dude, look at his forehead. Look at this guy. Oh my god. If that's not leather, I don't know what is. Got a good beat though. His hair, his forehead looks like what like an old processed um, apple pie looked like. The apple pie crust That's what like, it kind of looks like. Th- How's this guy gotten to this point? What do you think his source of income was? You think he like sold leather? <laughs> Probably just sold mangoes on the side of the road. Yeah, I'm thinking he's a he's like a street vendor of sorts. <laughs> I, I'm thinking he makes leather. Like, look, he's got all those things on. I'm all thinking the he bracelets. makes those. He makes bracelets and, and shit. Them yeah, with some fresh fruit, of course. Of course, like. And he sings a little song for the customers who gets those tips. So this guy's like, God, look at those teeth. That doesn't look like your average camera. He's record. Oh, oh, just. Oh my God! It got worse with the glasses off. He looks like the fucking guy from Fantastic Four. That Stone Man. Oh. Look that guy up and compare him to him. They are the same motherfucking person. No, he's got the rock lines. The what's the guy from? from oh, it's the rock guy. Fantastic Four. Oh, there it is. There it is. Nice. Let's see here. Yeah, he looks exactly just like. Him. I don't want to see a video of it. No, 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 no. <laughs> I just want to see the rock guy. Okay. But like, look at those lines. Oh, so I just did it again. <laughs> I touched it. Doctor Grant touched it. Yeah, same guy, him. And then if you want to look at, yeah. Oh, that, that's identical. Forehead. Identical, identical, exactly uh, same guy. The rock, the guy made of rock, might have more teeth though. Might yes, because the one thing that you don't know about being uh, polite. S- if he has superheroes, seven teeth, he has superheroes more. have great dental plans. This is like one of the great things about becoming a superhero is you're going to get a great dental plan. Healthcare is okay. Healthcare is okay, and then vision is pretty good too because you need to go, you need to have good vision. You really do. <laughs> what you got next for me here, Jeff? <laughs> I don't know. I I've yet to figure out if you're making fun of me when you do this or that's why I do it. Is if that what you're doing? I, I mean, I feel like there was one time I looked small next to you, and like that's never been like I've looked at a picture, like oh man, I look small. I mean, I'm fucking six six. That's yeah. Never been. There was one I was like hunched. I was like talking to him. Hey, how's it going down here? <laughs> but no, I I sit up straight, use good posture, try to save the back. You're a positive influence on me. He's a he's an athletic guy. He uh he dodges things at work all the time. Never runs into them. Never gets hurt from basic bending motions. Not no, once. Not once. Not one time. And his arms and his muscles come in usefulness countless times at work. 
won't go into them right now, but they're countless. They're countless. But I do have a video about... Ooh, what do we got? What do we got? You do copious amounts of cocaine with her. Okay. Hillary Hold on. Clinton exposed. Yeah, so this is a Hillary Clinton video that I have, I found. Um, what's really weird so is like. I claiming she ate his asshole? Yeah, something like that. She made me do copious amounts of cocaine with her. To the point I thought my heart was going to stop. I don't believe this guy already, but oh well. She told me to calm down, gave me a drink. His nose broken as fuck. I bet it was a I bet it was a crazy old lady, but he just doesn't know who Hillary Clinton is. <laughs> it's probably just thought it was. <laughs> yeah. it. Just had a mask on. When I woke up, she had both my legs over her shoulders, and she was numb sucking my asshole like there is no tomorrow. I mean, I would you let Hillary, Hillary Clinton, Clinton lick your asshole? asshole? I probably would. I for think the story. I would just for this. Just for the story. Just be like, oh, you want to hear a story? Have you had Hillary Clinton lick your butthole? I mean, yeah. I have. I mean, just for the story, no one would believe it. Oh, yeah, no one would believe like, it. But then you have to just tell it. Once you get into the details, day. it's about the details, and you get into it. Oh, man. And I tell got, about how. Oh, yeah, there's some details left. How, you think seconds. her hands are soft? You think they're smooth? Nope. You don't think that you think her hands are a little cracked? Oh, cracked no, they're, and, they're nice. I got nice hands. No, like her, Hillary Clinton's oh. hands. Like, would you let her, like, would you let her lay you on, like, on your back? Okay, if you actually were getting your butthole licked by Hillary Clinton. Mm, yeah. Now, any views, any people that were watching have now have turned off. No, so now we can they've talk. they've sent this to their friends. This is a good topic. <laughs> so, would you let her lay you back and, like, put your legs back and, like, let her full-blown lick your butthole? Or would you go in the doggy style? Like, wh- how would you do it? Would you be in the shower? She's trying to get in my butthole. She wants to lick your butthole. I've never even thought about this process. Uh, 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 woof! I would just lay over on my stomach flat, and not do any what? effort. How about just lay lay on your fi- side, just lay on like, your her hip. Figure that shit out. <laughs> no pun intended. So you just have like then you just like do, would you just let your legs go limp and you just like let her move them around oh, yeah. and stuff. Like I'm not I'm not helping at all. Why not? It's if Hillary Clinton's wanting to lick my asshole, Hillary she's Clinton. gonna do the work to lick my asshole. I'm not gonna make it easy for her. Why not make it easy? Like at least like participate, make it look like you actually care. No, I think that makes it better. Like more degrading to her. Really? And that that is would be a, my goal. Is it more? Is it degrading towards her? Or is it more degrading towards you? She's licking my butthole. Who is more? De- I feel like she's got to be more degrading. Like, maybe. Yeah. Like. I mean, I like a clean butthole. I mean, everyone likes to clean the their butthole. Clean butthole, but yeah. I guess I've never thought about cleaning it to the standards of being licked on. I would have to assume... Especially by Hillary Clinton. I would have to assume that's a couple extra wipes. Mm-hmm. I, mean, I mean, you want that baby pristine if someone's licking up in there. And if she didn't give me Especially, a warning, I mean, it, who knows? Yeah, I mean, yeah, like, what if like, it was like a long night of like you guys I going out like and partying and like dancing and stuff? A normal then, chick, if she's giving me a blowjob and I got a fart, I'm going to try to hold it back. If Hillary's Clint, Hillary Clinton's eating my asshole and I got a fart, I'm going to let that baby rip. roar. Like, just hold it in, hold it in. Oh, <laughs> just ruin her night. Or maybe that. Maybe, maybe she a, likes that. Maybe, I mean, she's already in my what asshole. If, what if, okay, what if you're dating? Okay, Do you think and, Hillary gets off on farts? I don't know. Interesting. I, uh, maybe. Well, because you know, you know, because like you know, Bill was always into like he like used to take like cigars and put them up girls' vaginas and shit. Yeah, he he did he weird shit and raped a lot of chicks. Uh, allegedly. Mm, mm. Yeah, allegedly. If you were dating a girl that was like super cute, yeah, like like she's like your dream girl. Like imagine your dream girl, Ooh, dream your dream girl. Right. girl okay, yep. you got that. You got, got her? it. And the one thing she was like, okay, Scott. What's she gonna do to me? She's like, hi. Like, whenever you fart, like you let me know before you fart, so I can get on my hands and knees. I can like just fart she, in my face. Would you still be with it. her? Yeah, she wants it. She wants. Would to you stay with her? And, like, take. Oh man. Would you stay with her? So like in public, like around my. No, head? no, no, no. Oh. This is like just like your guys. Like this, her thing. Like that's what that's gets her. her th- like that's what gets her off. Like this is a chick out of my league, gonna do everything else in my dream world. I want her to be doing, but she wants to eat my farts. Yeah. She can have them. Okay. I'll try to eat what more if she, steady like, diet. Too. What if it like gradually builds to the point where like, you know, start outside of like your if she jeans. wants me to take She a... wants you like specifically, specifically, I apologize, specifically wear <laughs> jeans or, you know, swim trunks sometimes. And then it went from that to like wearing like boxer shorts to wearing like compression shorts. To taking a shit on To her. like, yes. <laughs> I feel like that's <laughs> that, but... 
Would you stay? Would you still love her? Oh, man. Would you cuddle with her? Oh, man. That's... I'm not like, that outgoing. Like, I'm I'm old school basic bitch when it comes to those. That'd be a whole new realm. Maybe that's my thing. That's your thing? I said maybe. I don't what, definitely don't how know. How fucked up would it be if it was like, that's not even in your like psyche, but then like all you of date a this beautiful. Like, oh, it becomes like just such a beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> you just are, oh, God. <laughs> it just becomes something you just love. And it's not because and of anything were, weird. Well, what do you like, want me to eat tonight? You want that steak or you want that shrimp? Because <laughs> it's oh, like God. different. <laughs> we're losing people. Let's go back to this video. <laughs> <laughs> We're losing your fans. <laughs> tried to fight it. I tried to get away. But I was restrained. She told me that I liked it. She you like it. She told me not to worry because she used the good jelly. Of course. Schmuckas. So nobody's paid me to uh, confess this now. And I've kept it under wraps for all these years because I knew that no one would believe me. No one would believe that Hillary Clinton... Ate my asshole. <laughs> no, absolutely not. I don't believe that. I believe someone paid him to make this and be a complete sellout. But or he licked some lady, or some lady licked his butthole that had like a Hillary Clinton mask on. Or no, something. I would guess none of this happened, and he's just your basic dumbass inbred hillbilly ass dumb white guy. Man. But yeah, but that's pretty awesome video. I mean, well done for making the video. Nice. The yes. fact that it only has one hundred fifty thousand views, and the fact that it was under a minute too. Yeah, perfect. I, I don't buy it. Not too long, not too short. It was just right there. I like that guy. I don't know. I don't buy it. Why would it be that guy? I don't know. Does that mean you watch all those videos? Yes. You watch a two hour, two and a half hour podcast yes. three different times. Yes. My God. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand. Like you do, you, that's the thing. Is like all my co, like all my co-hosts are always like that. They're always like, yeah, I don't like podcasts. I don't listen to podcasts. But like, hell, fuck yeah, I'll do a podcast. Yeah. So like, it's I mean, like that, it's the weirdest fucking. You're thing. You're not it's asking like, me to do any of the, the editing work. or yeah, any of the work. I just come and bullshit for an hour, <laughs> and you just like like I'm just like just please speak into this into this microphone, and that's all you got to do. Outside the sound checks, it's all bueno. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's really all you got to do. That's, that's it. Like, can we do one more sound check? All right, Scott, can you do it one more time? All right, is that actually... Is 15 that minutes later, check, check, <laughs> one, two. <laughs> he's right. That's the thing. He's like, he's right. I develop an attitude 20 minutes into a sound check. <laughs> it's like, shit, John. Are you how you've not got it yet, you fucking asshole? I mean, they're sounding good or not. Come on, man. <laughs> Move on. <laughs> All right, so I have another video, too, that I thought I'd show you. Perfect. So, you know sign language, right? Sure. So I know the concept. The concept, but you don't yeah. know. You don't actually oh, right. know, know it. This is taint, by the way, in sign language. Good to know. Good to know. Taint. Taint. So literally like this, <laughs> put it to the side and put your finger in there and just taint it. Taint it up. Anyway, uh, so. Dropping knowledge. You're welcome. You are. And uh, so the next video is uh, this Tampa Police uh, spoke, uh, fake sign language stuff. I don't know if I could start any more than that. One of those two is racist. Oh, definitely, for At sure. At least. At maybe least. One of, From what are you watching one this? One like, I feel like this guy already knows what's up. Like, he knows how racist he <laughs> He's is. He's like, whoa, what's going on here? Okay. So apparently this lady has, she's been known for doing going to, like, courthouses and doing sign language. But not knowing how to do sign language. Oh, excellent. Yes. Okay, so this is the video. It's happened again. Another sign language interpreter accused of signing total gibberish. This time it was at the police news conference announcing an arrest in the Tampa City <laughs> killings. We will be charging four counts of first degree murder. Standing off to the side, apparently translating every word, this woman. We received so she's so she's having to come up with a hmm. How would someone say murder? <laughs> exactly. Mm, four of them. Mm. Oh my god, that's pathetic. Not giving a fuck. Like you're on TV, you know there's gonna be some deaf person like my refrigerator purple. <laughs> what? Makes <laughs> no fucking sense. Uh, 
This guy look this guy totally like I know you are fucking lying. Like I know you are a total piece of shit right now. <laughs> and he, he doesn't yeah, do anything. He, he totally can tell. She waved her arms around like she was singing jingle bells, says one outraged son. It's like she was singing. She she, she basically just sang jingle bells to me. He's like, is that bitch saying jingle bells? <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly that would what have he said. So <laughs> <laughs> bitch, <laughs> what the fuck? What are you doing? Like with a really high pitched voice. Oh my god. The woman identified as Derlin Roberts. This chick has done it, fucking seven times, and she looks hot in almost all of them except that one. And that one. <laughs> <laughs> I like the picture one. Picture two, she went in her lesbo phase. I like that one. That picture one's Picture three, decent. she's full gone. Yep. But this chick, I this swear one, to God. This someone's bitch and she's trying to get out of it. And then she's starting to go back to the dick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's her progression right there. So how did she come to be translating at last week's high-profile police news conference? I just didn't ask enough questions. Tampa Police Public Do I, uh, That's it. Uh, that's that's what you got to... I just didn't ask enough questions. Do you know how to do your job? You didn't ask, didn't ask that. Worse. What question... Can I see your tits? <laughs> what questions yeah. are you asking then? Steve Hegarty told me the woman simply showed up out of the blue and offered her services. My immediate reaction was... I didn't call for a sign language interpreter, but that's great. Can we have one here? <laughs> Sleep. <laughs> the untrained eye, and that would include mine. Um, I didn't see any problems. This latest <laughs> what a fucking idiot! Oh, like I don't know. She had her arms up in the air. They're moving around. Like they don't. Like yeah, they, mean, they just don't care. Basically, like they just don't care. And he was like, "All right, that's good enough. That future works." Future segment we do. A sign language that's accurate and a sign language that's not. Which one's correct? Which one's correct? I won't fucking know. It comes three months after it was revealed that the sign language interpreter at a Hurricane Irma news conference, also in Florida, made no sense. What do people do in Florida? Like, why is Florida always, like, the ones that are always doing this weird shit? Who is volunteering? <laughs> like, what is going on? Yeah, we, we got to do a news conference we, for all of our... Deaf people who are watching and don't have captions on their TV for some fucking reason. <laughs> we need a sign language interpreter to do live action interpretation for us. Who can do that job? Craigslist. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> need someone who can sign language. <laughs> yeah. Be at courthouse at 12 o'clock. Uh, four o'clock for sleepy time? Four, <laughs> four o'clock sleepy time. <laughs> gotcha, chief. Uh, four o'clock sleepy time. The time to act is now. Hegarty is summing up the latest goof. We won't be using that woman again. Oh, well, no shit. <laughs> we'll consider her in the future, but we're going to be a little more tough on the interview. <laughs> yeah, we're going to ask a little bit more questions next time. Can you sign for me four o'clock sleepy time? No, it's gonna be like a list of questions you're gonna have. He's gonna automatically know. Mm, I actually still don't know the correct sign for this one, so you got the job. <laughs> That's um, an awesome, good find. I know, right? So I thought we'd probably go into our next segment, probably my favorite segment, uh, Craigslist Misconnections. So if you're not familiar with Craigslist Misconnections, what we try to do here is we're friends. And we try to bring other people together, too. Uh, we go on Craigslist Misconnections. So people who have wait. had a misconnection with someone else, we read them. We hope that maybe the two people or one of the, pers one of the persons is watching our video. And we connect them with someone so that they were um, missing with. So, I guess we'll yeah, just they, start Yeah, they had this. that misconnection and we want to make sure they connect. Uh, the Parkville Police Stop, 6 p.m., yeah. yes. Oh, my God. They have... Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, my thing's in the way. Hi. So I saw... One stupid thing. So I saw you. I could not help but notice, even though I was on the phone, I wish I would have been... Wish I wouldn't have had been, but... Because. Because... This damn mic. I might have worked up the courage to talk to you. You, a man, late 20s, 
to mid thirties. You have a beard, <laughs> wow. a little bit of gray, dark hair. You had a hat, black jean jacket, and black pants. You bought a six pack of an off brand beer, maybe blue ribbon. Okay. Nice. I do like me some blue ribbon. But I could be wrong about that because I'm not a big drinker. You drive a black sub- Subaru. You like, you look like you had a rough day. Jesus, I'm done. A case of the Mondays for sure. You never smiled, but we did exchange a few glances between us. You are not a great big, enormous guy. That's a really weird way to describe someone. You are not a great, big, enormous guy. It's a lot of like leading up to leading up to stuff that led nowhere. And you aren't super tall, but I like that about you because I'm not either. So Did she's you just say she, she's average. <laughs> yeah, she's an average guy. <laughs> so me, a woman, early thirties, also wearing all black, curly hair, short, and petite. I was on the phone talking to my mom and really regret not being available to chat. I was parked next to you and you ch- and you changed my and you changed my eye the minute you caught. got out caught. Oh, you caught. I'm sorry. You caught my eye the you caught my eye <laughs> the minute you got out of your car because you seemed oddly familiar. The, what was interesting though, it is a female this time, and it's a lot longer. So I think that's probably because it's a female. The guy got halfway through this and like, this is me, and I'm not interested. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> if you happen to see this, tell me what color car I have and anything else you notice. I didn't see a wedding ring, so I hope I'm not mistaken about that. I just wanted to say hi. I highly doubt you see this, and even if you do, I'm probably be. Mortified that you know I look I looked at this. But so do you, I guess, send me a message? I'm curious about you. I don't like anything about this chick at the very end. She's like, and now if you even do look at this and I went through all this effort to find you, I'm not happy. Yeah, I'm be mortified. Like that's okay, that's rude. I hope this chick does not meet him. I bet he's taken and not interested. Bet she is not an average weight girl. Mm-hmm. Lost connection with role player Kansas City. Used to do PC role play first time scenes from back in the day. I miss our engage inter imaginations and fun dialogues. Want to re explore what we did or wish we'd done. So they probably like made out and she wanted more and he's like nah, probably their little nah. characters made out. They probably didn't really make out. How oh, weird is that? Like people can. I, I guess that's that? not weird because you know I connect with some people differently too. Like I in weird ways, but like how weird is it to meet someone like on a little game system like that, and then like their characters make out before like you and like that actual person make out. Now I can see the other way around if you like, you're, like you guys you're meet each about. other. Okay, so like a role playing game, like. Yeah. I was really hoping that you might be able to chime in there. No, that's. <laughs> Woo, that went over my head too because I don't know anything else. I'm like uh, Dungeons and like, Dragons. How is how is my Xbox avatar gonna make out with her ex? Like what? <laughs> like you know, like those PC games where like you go online, like World of Warcraft. There, there it is. Like and your character, like meets up with other character, and then like, you can meet someone from across the you know, like the world or something like that, and like. Your character likes their character, and like they can kiss and like that. But like, I don't think that any weird? of that's is, right. Is that weird though? Like, there's people that have met that way. There are people who have fucked that way. Uh, there's people. The reason why semen has gone into someone else, into somebody, is because that way. Because a wow. Oh wait, is that no? That's different. No, World of Warcraft, World, World of yeah. yeah that's right. You're right. Same thing. Wow. wow. Okay, yeah, that's the same thing. Yeah. yeah. I had a roommate. Who used yeah, to play and that. what they said right when they're Don't coming. Wow. wow. <laughs> <laughs> Just Do you think they things. say it in the same monotone, like, "Oh yeah, oh yeah, wow." <laughs> well, when I come, I don't say anything. I don't make any sound. I don't. It's, I think it's really weird when people make a lot of noise when they come. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> I'm just saying, like I've I've heard a weirdly. It's gonna be weird. What I'm about to say is that I've heard a lot of men come. 
Good luck uh, getting out of this one. Yep. <laughs> you ever start that conversation, you just don't know how to get out of there? <laughs> Try to get out of this one, buddy. Oh. So you've heard a lot of men come. <laughs> 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 uh, that's excellent. Yeah, that's part of my life. So next thing, don't kill my vibes. Woman for man. There's a lot of women for men this one. This was posted four we hours ago. We should hit up one Kansas of these. Kansas City. You think for the woman for man we should? Like that, that last lady, I bet if we just sent, like she wouldn't even care if it was him. We should just send her the link to this video and say like, just check out this part right here. We're talking to, oh. <laughs> That's how you get the followers. See, this is what we'll do. We'll then. Like this, it's just so like, you can't talk like, no one's going to follow that. We'll do Yahoo. There. Yeah. And then I'll send her the I'll send her the yeah. link to it after the, after the podcast and see what she says. See if she says anything back. Excellent. Um, so, excellent, excellentes. Um, you want to do "Don't Kill My Vibe"? Uh, a and R, missing your hot, hairy body, man for man. Yeah, let's do that one. Missing your hot, hairy body, man for man. Overland Park, Kansas. Surprisingly, Overland Park, Kansas people are really weird. You, white, average body size, covered in hair. You would lay back and let me worship you. Used to meet up on the weekends at my place. Me, white, chubby, 40. Would love to reconnect again. How do you not have this dude's number? Though? Yeah, like, and you guys are gay. Like, I think this would be the easiest way. There's no, You guys don't need to be talking on here like you guys why yeah why don't you guys just banging each other right now like hey dude it's tuesday you doing anything no all right yeah like <laughs> <laughs> like, let's, like you want me to come on you like can i come on you like let's do this you want to come you want me to get the come what are we like, doing who's here gonna tonight? get the come? Well, yeah. bud missing independence blue different. springs like, I, yeah. what I imagine like the gay world for guys is just it's like just so easy. It's got to be. Easy. I'd have to assume it's easy, but easier. Maybe, maybe they're different. Maybe maybe they're just like us. Maybe some of them are like women, where they're really like fucking picky and make you do all this shit. Whereas you'd expect the I'm guys just be like, it has to be. It has to be. Oh, you, you have a dick. I've got a bit. Yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm assuming there has to be. There has to be easy ones, and there yeah. has to be like ones that are like that take forever to get. Oh, poor gay guys. Poor just people. Yeah, just poor people. Probably not even poor gay guys. If you're gay, it's probably heyday. Oh, like, yeah. Go at it. Go Enjoy. to town. Have fun. Be safe, though. Wear a condom, I guess. Says the guy who doesn't wear a condom. I don't have sex. With men. With men. So I don't need to wear a condom. <laughs> Duh. Co- Scott, act like you've been here before. <laughs> act like a- I'm sorry. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> but missing Independence Blue Springs. Every time I say things like that, I'm like, that could be a snippet for Instagram. And I'm like, I don't think I want that to be on my Instagram. <laughs> I don't think I want that. <laughs> um, but missing Independence Blue Springs. Used to have a bud who'd host anonymously. I'd serve him and leave. N S A, man for woman. No strings attached. Oh, no strings attached. Okay. Man for man. Beautiful. See, that's what I expect. Be like, yeah, we usually just fucking jerk each other off and then go home. You want to do that again? <laughs> yeah, you want to do that? I just want to go. I just want to jerk you off. Like, can I just jerk you I'm off one more time? Anything? Jeez, I don't know what the fucking problem is. I don't understand why I'm having to come to you about this when I'm wanting, when I'm the one wanting to come. Like when it's when it's truly a misconnection. Like I saw you at a gas station. I get why they come on here. Ha, ah, come on here. Why they use <laughs> Craigslist? But uh. When they talk about like their previous relationship, like you either had their number, you no longer have it, which is probably a sign that it's over, or why don't you have their number? Yeah. <laughs> like, they probably blocked you. Yeah, like something happened. Yeah. My favorite janitor, Kansas City, Missouri. I feel like this is about to be a poem. <clears throat> I am a temp worker who works where you do from time to time. I always seem to run into you on my way out at the end of the day. You are cute, your cheerful smile, and your attitude brightens up my every day. Aww. Yeah. I like the way you care about the customers. 
I think about you often, period. And, okay, it's weird. And the places you work is one of my favorites. We work in the city and we both love what we do. My favorite janitor, Kansas City, Missouri. So she works with this person. This isn't yeah. a misconnection. Yeah. Just go up to him. I took a screenshot of it. Uh, sorry. Right. <laughs> Yeah, that's not a missed fucking connection. That you don't have the courage to talk to him in person, so you're hoping he finds your creepy Craigslist post and it's like, which was almost like a weird poem. Hey, hey, is that is that me she's talking about? Is it me? Yeah, I don't like. Maybe you. it's like maybe it's about <laughs> Joe and like I mean our dishwasher. You think it's ever happened with a guy figure like he's looking for another missed connection? He's like, that's me. That bitch. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> there's probably a small community of people who are just sitting in a circle of like just sending messages to each other through this via <laughs> Craigslist. I guarantee you, there has to be, there has to be a group of people who do this, like what we do, but they're actually like the people that they're the, the, the story's people. about. Yeah, there has to be. Oh man, it was because pretty- if we're just if we're just randomly thinking like we should go on here and like check these things out, there has to be other people that are doing the same thing. I mean, I've looked at chicks and, like, smiled and nothing happened from it and haven't gone home and be like, hmm. Craigslist misconnection. I bet she's looking for me because of that one little smile I gave her. Let's go find her. Oh, man. Do you want to do lost your number? I can't read. Uh, She was rare. I can listen to whatever you want to read. It's fine. Uh, Reading is outside my skill range. She was rare, Johnson County. Her imagination was similar to mine. We were finally doing things we both have wanted to do. Then she dropped out. Mm. Need a replacement. She was rare. (laughs) Johnson County. I feel like if I do them like that. Yeah, it's like I feel like they work a lot better if you like tell the title and you end it with the title. Well, so they were having... Neither one of them knows what they're doing. We were probably right. doing things we both the wanted one to do. We were finally having sex and figuring things out. And then she found a dude. Yeah, and then she dropped out. Yeah. And now this sounds like, like a lot of my ex-relations. This actually somehow weirdly, like, this reminds me of a lot of my ex-relationships. <laughs> we were just hitting our stride. And then we so were... So I need to start over. <laughs> <laughs> we just ended things. <laughs> Snap. I really do feel like I can like make little videos with like that thing, just like saying weird misconnections. Really, I feel like I can make videos something. I can make something out of them. Hey, you said know. some of the little videos are more popular than the whole videos, so people's attention spans are pretty tiny. Looking for candy. Can- I want candy. God damn it. I <laughs> want candy. This is going to be a good one. <laughs> <clears throat> this guy's looking for candy. Uh, looking for candy. Spelled K-A-N-D-Y. Stripper. Candy. Stripper. Candy. You are a beautiful ebony female. Strip. You are a dancer. Called it. <laughs> You met me where I work one evening. I would love to see you again. If you see this, send me a message and a pic. Dude, no. Looking for candy. Not fucking happen. A stripper is going to be like, maybe this one guy who tipped me five bucks one time is going to be. Oh, look. (laughs) He wants a pic too. Good. Perfect. I'll send him a picture right away. No. That doesn't work. You got to plant the seeds, to cultivate the seeds. the seeds, and then you fuck the seeds. This dude just tried to eat a seed. You can't eat a seed. I know. You got to cultivate you it. You got to cultivate it, water it, and then you got to fuck that and seed. And then you got to fuck the seed. So I think this might be the last one that we do tonight. All right, all this right. This last one. Okay. Stunning woman I've been at High V on Barry North KC High V. I've been there. <clears throat> I walked in and you took my breath away. You were tall, dark hair, tight blue jeans, green Ooh. shirt showing off your midriff, Ooh. even while it was freezing outside. Okay, I outside like her is already. Two different words. 
I like her already. <laughs> and thud, THD, most pierced eyes I've ever seen. You were putting on your jacket, and I stopped, and I did a double take. You may... You made eye contact with me and smiled. I kept looking back at you and caught you looking at me too. I was in a gray cap, dark cardigan sweater. As I was leaving, I thought I saw you get in a maroon SUV, but I could be wrong. Long shot, I know, but I hope you see this and I get and I can't get you off my mind. Hmm, Stunning gonna... woman at Hy-Vee on Barry North Casey Hy-Vee. He's going to go jerk it to her, and she's never going to think about him again. Nope. And mm, guys. Not and once. Not <laughs> once. And ladies and gentlemen, that was uh, Craigslist. Miss Connections. <laughs> oh, man. We're going to let you. Um, we're going to let that one chick know that. Uh, Woof. That ain't going to cut it. Not going to cut it. The, the gas station one. We're going to email her. So. I have a I have two videos to show you one more time, but it has to Excellent. do with the segment with you know would you rather? Okay, okay. So, are you familiar with these sort of music musical things called hambone and scat scatting? I've heard of scat scatting, like yeah. In, so you know scat, da, 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 yeah. da. Okay, oh, yeah. so you don't you're not familiar with hand boning is right? No, I'm not okay. familiar with that term. <clears throat> well, I'm, I'm. You are. I'm. I am. You are pretty deep in shit. And I was wanting to show you a little was bit of... Was he scatting mm, and hand boning? Close. <laughs> close. Close. So I'm going to show you a little bit of this guy. He is Ooh. a hand bone performer. Excellent. This guy sells out arenas. He's like basically the Michael Jordan of hand boning. Excellent. The title ham is... Ham boning. Yeah, the, the title alone is worth a ticket. So are you ready? Are you ready to experience this? <laughs> I'm pretty excited. Actually. So you you have no idea what any of this is. I mean, I know what scat is, but it. I'm but hambone, familiar. you've never heard no. of hambone. You've never heard. Of, okay. Let's get well, this shit. Go. Let me turn on the up the volume. Okay, are you ready for this? I'm ready for some solid hambone. And okay. Well, here you go. Good old Steve Hickman. The, the hambonest in the group. Um, if you're not sure what that is. Um, it's a person who practices hand boning. Is this the... started this way back a long time ago in the late Oh, 70s, yeah. Yeah, hand boner. I see him sitting there with no right. instruments. That's all it can be. Um, as I've gotten older, I kind of like the title of hand bonist better. It sounds academic. Now, if you don't know what this is, I want you to be... Don't be, don't be alarmed. Of course, it's a white guy. Okay. Who else would it be? You think a black man's going to learn how to do this shit? You think a brown man's going to learn how to do this? You, oh, sh- I'm going to put shingles on a fucking roof or I'm going to fucking learn how to ham bone. I'll put the shingles on that fucking roof. Argument. Okay. You don't have to buy an instrument. It's free. True. That's, that's- I'm actually surprised Jews don't do this. <laughs> <laughs> Jewish ham boning. Like something my people would do. But, like, like, <laughs> like, come, come, view our concert. We got the twenty finest ham boners in the whole nation. <laughs> That'll be thirty bucks. Thank you. <laughs> we made a killing. No pun intended. Uh, how- <laughs> How much you guys uh, charge for all that? Oh, we charge like 30 bucks a ticket. What are your instruments? We don't play instruments. <laughs> we don't play instruments. We fucking slap our legs, these dumbasses. Yeah, these dumb fuckers. <laughs> Look, he's got three mics set up for this. One for each knee. You'll like it too. Oh, man, he's going to be good, isn't he? Hear that? Wow. This is a concert. Yeah, people people paid ticket. Pay, people paid paid money for this. I feel bad. Just I feel like a waste of time just watching it. <laughs> you know, this is free, and a better seat than they have. Ooh, he's a performer though. People just wooed. People just wooed. Woo! Woo! Get it. <laughs> Oh! Oh my God! This guy cannot be the best hand boner alive. I sl- I really low key feel like you're more likely to find a big f- you're lo- you're more likely to find Bigfoot than find any brown people in 
this entire building watching this? I don't know. I don't think Bigfoot's real. So, well, I kind of do. That's a good topic. This is just making me mad. This makes me so mad. Why would people watch? Why? Yeah, this is why it makes me mad. That, that's funny. About what it. skill it's the, is it's this? It's the same six white people laughing every time. <laughs> They're like a little slow, little inbred. Oh, that's my grandpa. <laughs> This is not All right. Okay. Well, I've yep. had enough of that. Yep. Okay. So now I'm gonna we we I showed you that. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of scatting. So. So I, I show you both Did of I these just to ask you, like, would you rather? Would I rather? Would you rather have to be bone. the world famous scatter, or would you be the? Oh, would you rather be the world scat famous master. Ham, I'd be the bone. scat master. Why is that? Hamboning's a joke. Scat's always musically appealing, right? But then, but you know, you could always just be like this guy. <laughs> Ah, stay alive, stay alive. Ah, 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 ah. <coughs> I still like his beat. My God, that's the guy from Fantastic Four. He changed back in the human form, lost his teeth, but kept the forehead. <laughs> Staying alive. Man, What's look. sad is that he's not all, he's not bad. He's not offbeat. No, he's, he just looks like he's uh, seen a few more things than I have in my life. Yeah. Including less dentists. Less, a lot less dentists. And I don't even like the dentist, but he's seen it way less than I have. He's got like, end of, like single digit teeth left. That's no Whoa. bueno. So I had one last video. And, uh. One last video, and my big question for you is like, would you ever want to date a girl that did the video that does videos like this? My name is Tracy Kiss, and you may have seen before that I did a video called the Semen Facial Tutorial. The idea behind oh, I don't care what she does. Natural so you'd be I, down I with her. Her. you'd be dating a girl who did like semen facial. Yeah, videos? I mean, I've gotten to this video, and sure. Yeah, you'd be like, that's cool. That's my girlfriend. You'd, you'd be you'd totally. Own Where do you it, think that semen comes from? <laughs> it means we just gotta just stockpile that shit. Look that at her, like, like she has a bowl of semen and she's just dripping it into her hand like it's a fucking thing. Of that was that was a long frosty. weekend right there. That was I drank a lot of Gatorade that weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I had to replenish those electrolytes. <laughs> You're fucking gross, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Nowadays, you have no idea what's Like, she, you notice she does this goddamn thing in the goddamn sports bra. Yeah. She's not here for her self-respect and her knowledge. She's here to, like, get a down shirt. Like. There's chemicals, there's side effects, bad reactions, something that's very serious. So she's going to rub semen all over her face here pretty soon? No, she's going to do something else. That's what she's known for, but now she's coming out with a new video. Oh. This new video is with something different. Is, is there some advantage to fresh semen? You'll see. You'll all right, see. all right. You'll see. Okay. So. But between her stomach tattoo is kind of odd. I thought that too. It's in a weird place. It's like right above like the, it's like right below the titties, like right on the abs, like right on the six pack abs. What is it? It looks like a bird or a hand. Do you think that extends down to the, the puss? Could. Hmm. Interesting. I think that would make it better. It's her third hand. Indeed. Indeed. So one teaspoon of semen contains over 200 proteins, several helpful vitamins, minerals, mm. including vitamins. I like her accent. Chlorine, I, I like her. She's going to drink some, she's she's going to drink some semen. I'll watch her drink some semen. That sounds all right. 
phosphorus, potassium. Is she going to read all 200? B12 and zinc. Oh, is that a bowl of semen? Oh, she's. Um, so this is one ejaculation. Um, I'll show you the teaspoon. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this? You know what's so weird? Any other circumstance, it's probably not as gross. Mine, not as gross, but when you see a girl like just spooning around on your. It really grows. Um, and this is the first time that I'm going to. It's a bit time. runny. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, girl? What the fuck? Like, what happens when her dad sees so this I'm video? Like, what, do you, what do you got in that cup there, honey? Oh. Oh, what? <laughs> 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 That's semen? It's like, you can see the texture from this. She gonna it snort it? Is she's, no, she's gonna drink it. It's about an hour old. That means she just jerked him off. Like an hour. No, see, see, that's why I would get with this chick. She, I'd be like, don't you need to do another show tonight, honey? Maybe a double take? All right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> so she's about to drink some cum. What if you were the guy that produced this cum? Would you then like this video? I'd at least give it a thumbs up. Awesome. It smells kind of like cum. That doesn't sound good. It, it smells quite mellow. Oh, what's on my nose? <laughs> Oh, I got oh, semen on my nose. Oh, I got semen on my nose. Blimey. <laughs> this is not the first time. You can tell this on the yeah, first time. Yeah, she doesn't fucking care. <laughs> I mean, she's doing this in a sports bra, man. How many... Now, I'm, I'm I'm just asking. I'm not trying to degrade her. I'm just simply asking. Oh, God. How many cum shots do you think she's taking to the face? How much you, in her lifetime? Well, I'm guessing she's taking it right down the throat. Like you think she, she just takes cum like, she, to the throat? She's, she like, take... she's like, my my yeah. vitamin count is off. <laughs> <laughs> so she's just like. I need my she's vitamins. She's just a little dumpster. <laughs> like you can, she's like, you can just dump, dump, dump. You can back up. Beep, beep, yeah, beep, like, beep. She's like. The scrapper, like she's going around hunting for it. Like now, you've seen the metal scrappers, like they go to places to grab stuff you're throwing away. She's like, "Oh, you're just gonna shoot that semen into a tissue?" Uh uh. <laughs> now, question: Do you think she always looked like this, or do you think she used to be a little tubby? Oh, I bet this. I bet the semen dye did her good. And like, that's did what work. started. With, like, she did started wonders. taking. She's like, "Oh shit! If I start taking all this semen, I'm gonna get all this attention. And I, oh. if I get more attention, that means I should work out more." You think oh, that's absolutely. How and now I'm not I'm not degrading her anyway. Like do your thing, do your thing. Like I, dude, I sit in the room, and I talk about poop and semen. So like I'm and no I've better been, than she is. I'm no better than her. So but I'm just curious. So how old do you think she was when she took her first load in the mouth? Fourteen. I was gonna say fifteen, sixteen. Mm. So good guess. Okay. Kind of it close there. There's even more benefits to drinking semen for women because it's actually an antidepressant because it contains melatonin, which helps to induce sleep. So does the sun. So just sit on the sun. <laughs> like, just do that. So not only will I get sleepy after we have sex, but if she <laughs> swallows it, then she'll get sleepy too. We'll sleep real well. So what melatonin you're is, I should always let my girlfriend drink you, my cum. You should always. So let, then I don't have to talk to her after we have sex. Absolutely. You both will just pass out. That makes so much sense of like why all my girlfriends always fall asleep after we Yeah, like, after like her, drink her boyfriend, he's still asleep. She just got that from an hour ago. He's still passed out. He doesn't know about this video. <laughs> Sex can also lower your blood pressure. Oh, and man. Good find. I don't want to drink my cup. Wait. I'd rather she, get prostate cancer she than just, drink my cup. She just tried to sell the benefits of a man eating his own semen? I guess. Nope. <laughs> I'm good. Yeah, you know, just if you drink semen too. You can. The next time you're at work, you're like, oh, yeah, here's my little caprese salad. And you got, like, this little shooter. What's that? Oh, uh... I, it's just healthy for me. Uh, no. <laughs> I just try to drink. <laughs> oh, oh, God. The ejaculation. So actually, there's some really good health. I would make well, sure that she uh, knows. She's about to drink it. Oh, oh, oh. You can tell by her face she does not like that. That is surprisingly salty. Well, no. Surprisingly shit. salty. Shouldn't have made those fries last night, hun. <laughs> Surprisingly salty. You you put on like fucking four shakes of that seasoned salt. You know that's coming back at you. 
<laughs> Jesus. It, Surprisingly salty. Surprising I think that's going to be the title. That is pretty good. Her name's Tracy kind of, Kiss, and she wears a sports bra. It has a kind of surprisingly Nothing salty. she says is facts. That is surprisingly salty. <laughs> that's a fact. I think. That's a fact. I liked her accent on it. It has a kind of coconutty taste. Goes to the back of the mouth. It really She's giving the me the breakdown. Um, <laughs> you don't give me a fucking break. It's not like I'm at a fucking... Ooh, I waft a, a nice nuttiness to this vintage wine. She's like, hmm, he must have had at least a couple Skittles. I taste a little bit of fruity and fruitiness in that nut. She's giving me a goddamn, like, breakdown of this flavor. <laughs> oh, my God. But what's the weirdest effect is, like, it's like, if she was, like, but if she was topless and there was a penis in the shot, too, totally a fine, totally normal. But the fact that she uses by herself... Just got done working out, and she has a spoon, and she took a spoon, and she full, spoon dipped full a of semen in her mouth, that. and then swallowed it. Now she's describing it. That should be a, a spoon full of semen. Makes the, makes the something go down. Makes makes or the protein levels go up. go up. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. A spoonful of cum makes the protein goes up. Yep, and you look like this, and you look like that. Get it, ladies. Get it now. I have some cum you can use if you need it. Yeah. Just saying. Woof. It won't be in a bowl, though. You got to get it. I expected it to be a room temperature taste. The fuck description is that? Room temperature taste. But no, it was actually a little cold. <laughs> it was a bit chilly. Oh man. Room temperature taste. Without being refrigerated. And Wait, so should you refrigerate the cum before you drink it? I think you only I gotta refrigerate it if you're trying to keep it active for babies. Science. You think there's girls that prefer cum to be you no, know, I shouldn't say girls. You think I you think there's people that prefer yes. cum to be cold versus Ooh. to be hot? You'd have to assume so. Like there's Why people not? that like hot tea. There's versus people that like cold tea, iced tea. Right. Yeah. There's people that prefer having a medium rare burger versus having a like a rare burger or a well done burger. So there has to be people who enjoy hot semen compared to cold versus cold, cold cum. Baby, you want me to you want me to shoot this right in your mouth, or do you want me to go put it in the freezer for a couple minutes and come back? Yeah, it's up to you because I'm a nice guy, I'm a great guy, and I want to make sure you get this cum load. <laughs> the temperature and I deliver you want. It, I deliver it to you at the, the correct per- temperature. This is gross. How have we gone this far down How, the? <laughs> what time are we now? Have we have we lost all we're your fans? We're fifty six. We're fifty six <laughs> minutes. <into> okay. This. <laughs> okay. She take her top off or something to, like the I, grand no, finale. No, no, no. She just drinks cum. It has a kind of salty sweetness to it, um, in the respect that it's 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 salty and sweet and it's 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 if I was the guy who produced that cum, I would show this video to everyone who ever talked to me. I'd be like, hey, watch this video. I'd be like, the fuck am I watching? I'd be like, oh, just keep watching. Like, give no explanation until the very end. Be like, that was my cum. Yeah. <laughs> so I wonder, like, did she, how did she, how? Oh, this is not the, this is not a new thing for her. <laughs> This guy's just used to, he's like, fucking do whatever you, where do you want me to come, babe? Do whatever you want with it. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, my God. Don't talk to any of my friends, please. Just don't tell anybody yeah. that you got this cum for me. <laughs> you can feel it kind of coating and absorbing. she going to grab her tits to explain um, the flavor? But- it's just, it's just so tasty. <laughs> it's just so delicious <laughs> and warm. Temperature warm. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I would imagine that's kind of like when you have the bottom of a bag of popcorn and it's very intense. It's that kind of um, feeling. But it, yeah, it, I mean, even though it went onto my tongue, it's Ooh. actually the back of my throat where it's remained. Oh, you got some semen on the back of your throat, um,
to she's be told getting, this stuff. Like, why is she giving in-depth de- This is not why... You go into the health factors now, like If you're trying to sell semen, you don't go into why the taste is weird. You go into this is why you're doing it. Like, this is why when they do an advertisement for a diet, you do a before and after picture spiel. You don't do that. This is somebody actually eating the food that they have to eat on this diet. They're, they're just like, well, just ate four bites of it. And I'm, I mean, I could still t- taste it. But uh, I mean, it's been. You do the before and after. You show the fucking like. Look at this beef, dude. You don't show how he got there. You're just like, come on, lady. If it's healthy, do it on your own time. What if this was your daughter? So sad. Uh, would you still love her? Would you still give her hugs? I I just am so far away from knowing how I would treat a <laughs> daughter that looks like someone I want to bang right now. I don't. <laughs> I would hope I'm so old that I just don't care at that point in my life. Because I'd have to keep all the dudes off my daughter if that was my daughter. Stop describing his semen, though, please. Describe how it improves your tit size. This is a... We're done. Does she, she have other videos, I assume, right? <laughs> I don't know, but. Staying alive, staying alive. Staying alive. Staying alive. The bitch, the bitch, the bitch, the bitch, the bitch, the bitch, 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 Look at my three teeth looking at them. Have the pudding. Well, that's not the ending point. I don't know what is. Yeah, I don't know. I don't have anything else. I, I mean, honestly don't have anything else. I don't know. I mean, he's waving. He's waving goodbye. Um, I guess, yeah, I think. Well, Promote yeah, we just shit. hit an hour. Promote it. So, guys, uh, if you've gotten this far. Thank you. Thank you. I don't. Thank we you. We know why. It's for the cum. It was for the cum. Because you knew there was going to be cum somewhere talked about in this somewhere there's always we, we always talk about cum we always talk about cum we just have to wait the amount what you do with it how you produce it, it if you like it warm yeah. do you like it cold like it's just there's a lot of questions a lot of things but if you got in this far thank you so much for watching you should probably just go ahead and subscribe if you haven't subscribed give it a thumbs up it's right there comment tell us what how you like your cum and yeah, and then I guess, yeah, so thank you guys so much. You can also check out uh, more of my stuff. If you want to check out my vlog, uh, John D. Clouser. It'll be in the description. In the description. It'll be the link in the description. Uh, yeah, uh, also. Check them out. Check me. You can follow me on Instagram at John D. Clouser. Twitter, Facebook's all the same. Go find his one on the on the mansions. That's pretty fucking awesome. Yeah, and. Uh, I still have nothing. Nothing. He uh, still have no plugs. Nope. 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 Got nothing. Follow this man. All right. Go so see I, some of me. I think we should probably just like we didn't close talk out about this the double date. Oh, we never talked about you. It's up to you. It's your show. I just now remembered it. I would have brought it up earlier. But I, I know we never talked about the double date. So I had a girl who uh, asked to go on a date with me. Like I had a whole plan thing. Like we planned this out. Like maybe like four or five days in advance because we realized this is the only day that we have available. And uh, then like the day before she texts me and says like, you know, Hey, like, you know, the guy you do like that podcast with, like you should have him come. Cause like, so my friend Caitlin can, can uh, come and we can double date. And I'm like, this is weird. I don't like this. I don't ever want to double date with anybody. I literally want to go on a date. Let alone have to do a double date yeah. because I don't want you to see me have to interact with that's someone else. That's not going to improve our dating, and that's not going to improve our friendship. That's no. if anything, it'll probably hinder our friendship because you're like, like you're getting a little hotter. I'm going to try to get <laughs> yeah, like, Ugh. and like, and then like, she wasn't like, hey, my friend Caitlin, here's a picture of her because she's so hot. Yeah, that, like, that's what about like 
she had seen me and I had not seen her. And if I did, I bet it was a face pick and nothing else. Yeah. It just... Like a, a face pick from like here at the right angle. Because I'm sure she went on like my Instagram and was like, oh, yeah, like I'm going on a date with the guy on this side. And like you can go on and they say, oh, you should say something about like his mm. friend on the other side because it would be fun. And then we could double date. And I think that's so fucking weird because I've never gone on a date with this girl. I have yet to go on a date with her. Ooh, so the first one. So it would be my first date with her too then you've been your first date with some other girl and we somehow we got a coaxed into fucking going on some weird ass <laughs> fucking double this date bothers you. and then we would have probably some because i would have had a fucking pay probably <laughs> so that's how the whole thing would have fucked so fuck her fuck that scott you drink like 12 yeah <laughs> you and i didn't know <laughs> why do you drink all this mimosas <laughs> jesus thought Christ. it was bottomless <laughs> <laughs> you don't even like this shit <laughs> Just right alcohol, there. <laughs> it's alcohol, John. It's free. Free alcohol is the best alcohol. But yeah, double date for the first date. No bueno. No, I, and I, I was like, no. And she's like, is this weird? I was like, it's not right. Not, not, not weird. <laughs> it's not, not weird. And I'm like, you know what? I get it. We don't have to go on a date. Please don't ever talk to me. Please, we're good. <laughs> and then that was it. She has not messaged me since. There you go. Yeah, and that was it. It was so fucking weird. I was like, ugh. That is ugh. weird. And the, the weird thing that was – the thing that made it the weirdest is the fact that like, I looked on her Instagram page because we started following each other on Instagram. All of her pictures had like some – she's like like 5'10", and she has all these like little white girls like climbing on her like she's a fucking tree. Mm. And it's just like so fucking Maybe weird. Maybe she wanted to climb me like a tree. Maybe – I'm like, you, I, that's what I thought too, because I sent you that message. I'm like, I think she wants to go on a date with you, and then like I sent her the message. I sc- screenshot what I sent to you to her. She's like, that's not what I wanted. I was supposed to go. My friend Caitlin wants to go on a date with him, and I'm like, I'm not gonna do yeah, that to my the, friend. I'm, just like, I'm like, I'm not gonna what? do that. I'm not gonna do that to my friend. You know how weird that is. Like, <laughs> hey, like this girlfriend we're going on a date with wants to go on a double date with. With her oh. friend I've never actually seen. And I've never seen. You so, in? <laughs> so it's going to be a complete guess how she looks for us. And I'm not trying to be shallow, but it, like there has to be some sort oh, of. Right. I think by the point I'd ask, like, why? <laughs> you were already like, no, 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 I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. We're getting out of here. We're yeah. running away. <laughs> why are we doing this? <laughs> oh, that's funny. But yeah, I was like, ugh. Ugh. Thank you for listening to that, guys. We'll see you guys on the next episode. Peace. Bye.